Hey everybody, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. Today we're going to play in our I Am book. Here we go. It's our I Am book. And um, this is just some leftover paint that I had that I decided not to, um, not to throw away. So I just painted these two pages teal. So I think today, today we're going to have free play. Now, even though I am going from one signature into another, that's okay. I'm just going to play with both of these pages today. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some matte medium. And I received this awesome tissue paper uh, the other day in one of the swaps that I was in. And I thought, oh, isn't it beautiful? So let's, let's lay some down. So how's everybody enjoying the I Am journey? I have a lot of fun doing this, and I hope you all enjoy it. Um, I have one more signature in this book, and then I'm going to be finishing up this I Am journey. And eventually I will do it again, but I just enjoy uh, sharing the process with everybody. It's a lot of fun, I think. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using some matte medium and I'm just going to lay down some of this tissue paper. And like I said, I'm going to do it on both pages. And we're going to have free play. I've got some new products that I want to try out. Um, a couple of them are from Viva. So I'm just going to play with those. Some of them are like a modeling cream. And I thought, what the heck, let's, let's play and see what they end up looking like. I got a few in a different colors and I just, hmm. Inquiring minds want to know what it looks like. So, <clears throat> so anyways, I like I said, I, I really hope everybody is enjoying the I Am journey. And sometimes I get a little bit more into the whole who am I uh, when I do these pages. It really depends on how I'm feeling on that day. Uh, today I'm feeling pretty good. So I don't really want to get into something um, deep. Let's put it that way. So let's see, I'm just going to throw on the rest of this paper. I love this paper, by the way, this tissue paper is wonderful. Isn't it so fun? Love the colors, love the brightness, love the patterns. And I'm just go there. We'll put this one. Oh, let's put it right here. This looks like a good spot, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to dry this up, and then I'm going to go ahead and get some of the products out that I'm going to use. We're going to play with some stencils, uh, maybe some stamps, we'll see. And we're just going to see what we end up with these two pages. I have absolutely nothing in mind. I don't know what way I'm going with this. So let's see how it turns out with our free play today. Let me dry this up, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so this is pretty well dry. The first thing I decided I'm gonna do, I don't know where my top went for my matte medium, is I'm gonna knock this color down a little bit. Um, I wanna put some of this in the background. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use white gesso and uh, a cosmetic uh, wedge, as well as a stencil. Now this is a kite stencil, it's KS057 and it's just lines. Um, but I decided I really want to I want to knock some of this back a little bit. I love the colors. It's wonderful. It's bright, but it needs to calm down a little bit. So I'm just going to dip my cosmetic sponge in the gesso and just kind of work it around so that we get some of that to go toward the back. Okay. All right, so it just kind of calms down the color a little bit. Um, this is just one of many layers we're going to start working on. Um, like I said, I want this. I want this just to calm down a little. Sorry for the thunking. What you're hearing is my computer. I think hitting my desk. All right, I like that. Now I want to just bring some more in here. Let's do a little in the middle here. I'm going to throw some down on this side. Okay, still not all the way into the background, but it's better. 
Um, I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to go at it again. I actually will take this stencil, flip it over and give kind of a ghost image on this. So let's do that real quick. All right, so this is pretty well dry. And before this stencil dries, I want to take this gesso that's on the stencil, find my brayer, and I'm just going to add a little bit more to this. Of course, while I'm in the middle of doing this, my doorbell rings. And I have nothing against people and their religion, but please don't come to my door. But that's all right. Okay, so I didn't get as much gesso off that as I wanted, and that's okay. So now I think I'm going to continue with this, but I'm going to use a different color. Um, I've got a Dilutions. This is just her circle. And let's see, what color do we want to use? Let's use some quinacridone nickel azo gold. I love this color. I love how it comes. It's just, to me, it's a beautiful color. See, I'm all stuttered. I don't know what to say. All right, I'm going to use the same cosmetic sponge, and I'm actually going to do it this time with the, uh, ooh, we'll get some white in there too. Why not? I'm going to use it this time with the circle sponge. I like it. I'm using up some of that nickel azo gold. And again, I'm just trying to knock this background back a little bit so that when I decide to put some type of a focal point on here, um, we don't see nothing but background. And as far as what the focal point is going to be at this point, I don't know. I don't know. I love this color. Just love, love, love it. Huh. Very cool. I'm not a huge, like, orangey person. I'm not, you know, I'm just not, I don't tend to use oranges. But, man, I just love this color. It's so pretty. It's so vibrant. You know, maybe that's because it's um, a golden. I don't know. But I actually, uh, if you follow me on Facebook at all, you'll see that I actually got to go to the Golden Factory. It's <laughs> about an hour from my house. I've never been there. So my friend and I were out this weekend and um, we just wanted to go for a little drive to get out of Dodge. And we decided to go to the Golden Factory. And oh my, it was just wonderful. It was a lot of fun. So if you ever get a chance, you come to New York and you go to, let's say, the Cooperstown Baseball Hall of Fame, uh, make sure you stop in at the Golden Factory. Now, I still have paint on this stencil on this side, so I'm just going to kind of ghost it here and there. Just throw a little bit on there, whatever's wet, just to give it that little bit of a ghosty image and to use up some of the paint. Okay, I like it. So just so you can see, it's just got a lot of texture to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using some modeling paste. So I want to find another stencil that I want to use. And I've gotten these uh, modeling paste from Viva. Uh, this one is Hydrania. This one is Copper. And this one doesn't have a name. Let's see. Um, this one has no name, but I'm going to call it Orange. So let me dry this up, find another stencil, and we'll continue. Okay, I'm not sure why, but if I feel like somebody's eating my palette knives. <laughs> I go to look for them and they're gone. I can never find them and I know I have quite a few of them. So where they go, I don't know. Anyways, I found one. And I actually uh, looked at my creams again and I'm gonna change this up a little bit. I'm actually gonna use the Hydrania and the Marine. And like I said, I haven't used these yet, so I probably will have to open them, which is no problem. Uh, or maybe it is a problem. No, no problem. All right, so these are um, a modeling cream that I get all over my fingers. 
and I just I like the the consistency of them and let's see what they do okay I have this small flower st uh, stencil this is a Prima oh no excuse me it's a plaid home decor stencil and it's just a real pretty flower so I'm going to use this modeling paste and I'm just going to apply a nice thin layer with my palette knife I finally found I'm actually going to do it right to the corner of the page because I really want this entire flower to stand out. A little piece here I missed. Now like I said, I like the consistency of this paste. It's kind of thin, but I like the way it looks. How's that? Isn't that cool? And it has a shine and shimmer to it, which is cool. All right, I'm going to put another one right here. This one I'm not going to do the whole flower because of my middle there, my uh, spine of my book. But just to... Love it. That one didn't turn out as well, but that's okay. All right, we're going to put a big one right here. And then I'm going to use the other, which is the hydrangea. Now I'm just using the flat of the palette brush to kind of flatten this out and make it look even. And there we go. Love it. All right, give me a second. I'm going to clean this off, uh, which is a rarity for me. But we're going to clean that off, and then we're going to get out the hydrangea, and we're going to make some more flowers. So, oh, this one, the plastic, come off with it. All right, let me clean off the stencil, and I'll be right back. All right, so while I had the camera off, I just kind of dried this a little bit. It's still kind of tacky, but I just didn't want it quite so wet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with the hydrangea. I love this color. I'm just going to try to kind of overlap this without actually... I don't want to really push down on the stencil because I want it to... I want to overlap that flower a little bit. So again, I'm just using the palette knife very lightly going across. You can see places where I'm thinning it out a little bit too much, so I'm just making sure it has a nice coating so that the background color is not coming through. You don't have to do it this way. If you want to see some of your background come through, that's fine as well, and I'm not going to be able to get it straight. so. I'll call that good. Okay. And let's see. I want... I'm going to have to flip my book around here. Because knowing me, I'll stick my finger in something. Okay. I'm just going to put one right here. If you don't have any of these modeling creams, they're they're relatively inexpensive. I think it's like four something for a jar, but they're just a lot of fun because they add such a dimension to your page. I really like playing with them. Okay, that one I'm gonna leave there. Okay, now I have some extra right here in this. I just want to take this up out because I want the book to be able to close. I don't want a big clump there. So that works. And where are we going to put another one? Let's see. This is the top. Let's put one down here in this corner. I like this right here. Let's do one right about here. How's that sound? I'm getting quite a fair amount on my palette knife. And just lightly going over the modeling paste.
Okay, I like it. I like it. So I'm going to set this aside, and this is what I did with um, the stencil previously, because I still have some of this modeling paste on my knife. So all I'm going to do, first of all, I'm just going to get rid of what I got on my knife. No worries. And then I'm going to take this, put it here, and use my handy little brayer, which I've lost again. Oops, stuck my finger in my flower. There it is. So I'm just going to take my brayer. And that's all I use this brayer for is clean off stencils. Stick that down there. Let's stick some of it here. And this is just getting the rest of that modeling paste off. And this, you know, this page eventually, this is my play journal. Um, eventually this page will be used for something, but I'll just set it to the side and let it dry. Okay, use a little baby wipe. Uh, we'll wipe this off. I got it on the wrong side. Nope, I had it on the right side. And just wipe it off a little bit. I am not a stickler when it comes to my stencils. Um, I don't know, I just use them. Okay, so there we go. As far as I'm concerned, the stencil is clean. <clears throat> just dry it off a little bit and we'll stick it back in our bucket. If they get too bad, then yes, I'll take them in the sink and I'll stick them in some hot soapy water and get them cleaned off. But normally they don't get that bad. Okay, so now back to our journal. I'm going to go ahead and dry this up and then we'll see where we're going from here. All right, I'll be right back with you. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, this is a little bit dry. I have to laugh because remember I was telling you about the palette knife? Laying right here in front of me and all this goodness. Here's a palette knife. <laughs> oh, well. That's who keeps eating them. I do. Anyways, um, so these aren't quite all the way dry, but I'm working on it. So what I want to do now is I've got out some stamps. These are Diane Reevely stamps, Dilutions, uh, by Diane Reevely. And this is called Around the Edge. And I'm using this flower, or I'm sorry, this leaf stamp right here in the end. So I'm using Archival Ink, Ranger Archival Ink. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting some uh, leaves in where I decide I want them. So I'm going to start right here. I just want a couple leaves here. Okay. I think I'm going to bring some more on up through here. And I'll take these two on the edge and throw them in right there. All right, so you can't really see that very well, but I'm gonna use my pit pens and we're gonna make those stand out some more, okay? So I'm just gonna continue to do the leaves. However I decide I want them to come in here. There's another one. Just kinda of want this one up along the side. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room for some words. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to say here, but I, I, I don't know. It's going to be something about um, <laughs> having fun with life. And I'll tell you, that's just, that's huge in my book. you got to have fun. Because if you don't have fun, uh, life gets kind of boring, doesn't it? All right, I don't want this... I don't want to stamp over this right here, but I want to add some more leaves going out this way. So I'm just going to cover up where I don't want them to go. And there we go. All right, see, so I still have the leaves coming out. Let me bring you in a little bit. In. Um, so I still have the leaves coming out, but I didn't have to do the whole four leaves. Make sense? Okay. So I've got a few leaves there. I think I'm going to put a couple over here just for good measure. Some of it is uh, stamping onto the flower. I'm good with that. All right. Now I've got leaves going up. I'd like to have some coming down. So I'm just going to right there. It's like a good spot. Awesome. I want a couple more to come down. 
So again, I'm going to okay. Just clean off my stamp here on my drop paper, and we'll put this away. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out my pit pens, and I'm actually going to get those leaves greened up. So let me just find my pit pens, which are right over here. Let me grab those, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got out some of my different shades of green of the pit pens. Um, so I'm going to use these, and I'm actually going to start working on these leaves. I want them to stand out a little bit from the page. So I'm basically going to do some coloring in, uh, and then I'll do some shadowing on them. And we'll see what we end up with. So I've been doing some thinking about this while I was getting out some supplies. And uh, I really like um, what I usually say at the end of my videos, which is, you know, have fun. That's what life's about, all about. So that is what we're going to put on here. And I actually used uh, a dyno label maker so that I don't have to write because my writing I think is atrocious so my husband thinks it's wonderful and I don't but isn't that what life's about life's about having fun and enjoying time with your family and your friends and your spouse or your significant other that's what makes life so grand you know um, I actually got to spend part of my weekend with my grandbaby she's gonna be six my granddaughter, I have two sons, and my granddaughter, she is just so special, and she has so much fun. Um, she went in our hot tub for the first time, and she just, she sent me a text last night, Grandma, I want to go back in your hot tub. So I told her, absolutely, next time she comes up. Absolutely. So now this modeling paste that I use, this Viva modeling paste, it's pretty well dry. I mean, I wouldn't uh, run anything really hard over it. It probably will still come up a little bit at this point. It's got to set and harden. Um, but in order, you know, to, to continue to keep working on the pages, I mean, I'm laying my hand right on it, and there's no issue. So I can't say enough about the Viva uh, products. I enjoy using them. So again, like I said, I'm just starting out with this one color of green just to bring these leaves out and let them pop a little bit. And then I'll work on the stems and the coloring and just try to make them, uh, you know, a little bit shaded here and there. But it's just, it's bringing them out. It's making them pop, which is a good thing. And my lights are creating a glare for me, so I can't see. There we go, that's better. So what do you do to have fun in life? What do you do besides art? Um, my husband and I used to love to go antiquing and thrift shopping, that sort of thing, but it's kind of hard with my mobility issues at this point. So um, we just find other things to do. We watch some programs on Netflix and uh, you know spend time with family and go out to eat every so often. And it's just, you know, fun. Alright, so I've got my first layer of pit pens on these. Now I'm going to start back up where I started and let these dry. And I just want to add some, maybe a little bit of the stems. That color, let's get some dark in here. Let's throw some dark around the edges maybe. I'm going to do dark around this edge, I think. And the great thing about these pit pens is you can actually just uh, blend them really easy. I tend to use my fingers a lot in art. Do you? I found that they're the best blenders around is the fingers. Thank you. 
So like I said, what do you do? What do you do to have fun? What do you, do you have a hobby other than art? Do you, um, you know, do you enjoy going shopping? Do you, what do you do? Uh, like I said, we have a lot of fun with our family and just enjoy life. It's too short. It's really way too short. Seems like when you finally grow up and, you know, learn the important things in life, it's half over. I wish we could teach our kids more about, you know, it's the little things that matter versus, you know, having and keeping up with the Joneses style of living. Now, I'm not really doing these in any particular order as far as where the light is coming from, that sort of thing. I'm just shading the leaves a little bit, just giving them a little bit of life. <clears throat> Again, having fun. Just so they're not all one shade of green. It's a rainy overcast day here today in New York, which is okay. We need some rain. Pretty soon it'll be the white stuff falling instead of the wet stuff. But, you know, that's just all part of living where we do. I don't have any issue with snow. I don't mind snow at all. I have a problem with the cold. When it gets really like 30 below zero, that's where I have the issue. So I'm going to take this, um, have fun, that's what life's all about. And like I said, I did this out on the Dino Label Maker. Um, and thank you, Mike, you're, you're saving my atrocious handwriting. And I'm not going to color these yet. I'm going to put them down as white, but I'll definitely add some color to them so that they're not so stark against these this page. And they just have little stickers that come off the back. Have fun. Okay. And then the That's What Life's All About I'm going to put down through here. There. I probably should have taken the sticker off the back of these first. Um, it would save me some frustration, but eh, that's all right, right? Take the stickers off. Sorry about that, that was my phone. been very busy today between my husband my son that's starting a new job So oh, this one is have fun. That's what life is all about in our I am journal. And I really hope you're enjoying the I am journal. I know I am. I, I sometimes um, the pages are a little bit heavier or more uh, deeper, I guess, in thought. But this one is not. This one's just a nice free play page done on the turquoise paint that I had left over and that I wanted to use up so I just laid it down on these two pages 
And I like doing that. Sometimes I like, you know, opening the book to a page where I've already got paint on and it's it's kind of a challenge. It's like, hmm, what do I do with this color? <laughs> so just put this last one on here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Stabilo pen, uh, pencil I should say, and go around each one of these and just kind of blend them in a little bit with the background. Okay, so we've got them all down. We're going to take the Stabilo and a water pen. And I'm just going <clears> to <throat> add some color to the edges of these. I mean, we have some white on the background, so that's, you know, they aren't too bad. But just by adding a little bit of this uh, black around the edges, it'll kind of tie them into the page. Whoops, that one I went on the... It looks like I have to, uh, looks like I have to sharpen my Stabilo again. So I'll just add some color here. doing these perfect. I don't really want them perfect. Just, just have fun, right? So I really hope you've enjoyed this page today. I hope, uh, you know, I can't wait to see yours. I'm sure they're going to be a lot of fun. And um, definitely, you know, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. If you have some ideas for an IM page, you know, give me a shout out. Let me know. Um, as always, you know, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to uh, have you subscribe. I've got all of my IM into a playlist. I've got some other pieces, other projects that I've got going in different playlists on my YouTube channel. So, um, you know, come on in, check it out, enjoy. And. As always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating, and thank you so much for joining me. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!